probably not as driven, to be quite honest, as that lure of an Olympic gold medal. I'm not driven by money at all. I'm driven really to help people. It's crazy. It all comes down to wanting to help people recover, overcome their injury, train better, feel better. I've come to realise that's what really drives me. And so sometimes I can get a little bit off focus in business because I've always got ideas. Oh, I should do this and I'm a bit of a squirrel. Now that you've had that incredible pivot uh, in your professional career to be founder CEO of Body Ice, uh, and that is you know advanced recovery for athletes. So we're talking about heat and ice with advanced compression, helping athletes recover from injury faster. We look at your career, and we've talked already about incredible focus, amazing drive, and then the ability to deal with fear as a process. Have you found those things have have really helped you in setting up Body Ice and, and transitioned into a into a business world? Absolutely. I mean, Body Ice was born out of you know disaster. Really, I had two um, ACL ruptures in a matter of six months and was struggling to find an ice pack that would stay cold and wouldn't leak and slip and all over the place and would give me that compression at the same time so the product didn't exist for me and so I decided to design my own um, and I was having a year out of sport this was in 2006 after I, I blew my knee at the 2006 Winter Olympics in Torino and um, was having a year out anyway I needed to have multiple surgeries to fix my knee and um, and at the same time just then put that focus into starting up a business and I didn't know anything about starting a business and um, however you know my father always had his own business and and I guess doing the sport I was doing I, I wasn't really risk adverse I was willing to have a crack you know and so I didn't see starting a business as risky like a lot of people tend to do um, I saw you know that there was a product that I needed and I figured a lot of other people would need it as well and that's just how you know I got into it I just so yeah, many businesses start cool. that way. So many businesses. So <laughs> can you tell, can you remember can you remember starting it? Did you write it out on a napkin in a in a bar somewhere? Or like yeah. did you did you literally say, this is what I need? Right, let me find someone who can make it for how did that process come to be? As a professional athlete, I always obsess about the next level. How can I improve? How can I be better? Your recovery is one of the most potent tools for you to be performing at your best. And I take it very seriously. I'm so grateful for body ice recovery. I now have access to the 360 cold and hot compression gel sleeve. Straight after training, I can use the cold therapy or I can use warm therapy to be able to recover my muscles so I'm back out there on the field doing what I love. Take charge of your recovery and pre-order your compression gel sleeve today. I literally was flying back from the Olympics and I was in a, you know, terrible state. In I was miserable. I was devastated. My dreams had been crushed. Um, I'd blown my knee out for the second time in, in six months. And, you know, at that stage, you don't know if you're ever going to get a chance to come back. You know, I wanted to. I knew that I didn't want it, that injury to kind of, you know, end my career. But you still don't know for sure. You don't know until you've had the surgeries and you kind of know what's ahead of you. And so I couldn't sleep on the aeroplane back. I was just, every time I closed my eyes, a nightmare would be on repeat, repeat, wow. repeat, repeat. Yeah. And so I just got my journal out. And um, I had a previous discussion when I was in the in the, in the athlete village. Um, I was, I'd blown my knee out and I was sitting amongst some friends and had my leg resting up on a, on a chair and I was icing it with a plastic bag of ice and it was leaking and slipping all over the place and um, I was frustrated. I was <laughs> not in my best mood anyway. Picked it up and threw it down and bloody hell, someone should make a decent ice pack that doesn't leak and slip all over the place. And so it was kind of like that light bulb moment, ding, went off and everyone's like, well, you should do that. I'm like, yeah, I should do I that. Should. <laughs> yeah, so That's back to the airplane, I, you know, I couldn't, couldn't sleep. I just, yeah, the cogs were turning and got my journal out and started designing, you know, a range of ice packs that, are, that were joint specific. So for shoulders, backs, knees, hips, they weren't all kind of a universal one. They were joint specific that would just stay in place and, and stay cold. And um, just started sketching the designs, got home, um, had surgery and on crutches, you know, going into different clerk rubbers and material places, trying to find the material that I needed and making some prototypes. I'm no sewer, so it was kind of more about cutting <laughs> things out. And, shape, yeah. um, 
Yeah, and tried to find some manufacturing in, in Melbourne and had no luck. So stumbled across Alibaba in China and ended up going to a trade fair and went over there. I'd just been off crutches and met with different suppliers and manufacturers and um, really just got it done. Took my designs, got the got some samples back from different manufacturers and chose the, the best one and, and just went from there. Wow. So pretty much just dove into it and it was great at the time because it took my mind off you know the reality of where I was as an athlete which wasn't in a great place um and it was a place of uncertainty but it had gave me I think that year off was fantastic because it gave me perspective it gave me a chance to you know step back and realize okay sport is not the only thing in my life it's not the only priority and if I want to be successful in sport, I probably need to have a bit more balance. I was just so kind of tunnel driven um, that it, it really was, you know, the best thing that okay. happened to me. <laughs> so, so cool. pretty much, yeah. I'm going to come back to that in, in just a minute because I think that that's that's a, a powerful thing that I want to dig into. When did you know that Body Ice was going to take off? When did you know that you you really had uh, got mm-hmm. something that was worthy there? Well, I thought, you know, I'd be kind of, you know, pitching it to sports teams and athletes and physiotherapists and things like that. But I literally, I put an order in. Um, I had no idea how I was really going to go to market. But I put the order in, got the product off the off the ship, walked into my, um, my knee surgeon's office. I had an appointment and I had one strapped on because I'd that was the beauty of it. You could strap it on anywhere. I'd be in the car. I could still ice from the gym. And, you know, I had that mobility kind of while icing. And I walked into his office like, what is that? I'm like, oh, it's body ice. It's my new, you know, ice packs for injuries. And they're all joint specific. And um, he said, I'll order 500. Thank you. And I'm like, amazing. Wow. That is so <laughs> cool. So I, I pretty much stumbled into my target market and... He's ordered 500 every three months for over 10 years now. We have a women's range at the moment, which is doing really well, and that's for post-birth recovery. Um, And so we're in baby bunting um, with that, and I remember getting the first order for that and going, wow. It's got so many zeros. Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, look, at and it's just, I guess it's organically built over the years. Women's range evolved out of, after I had childbirth and I'm like goodness gracious you know women need to recover down there and here and things like that when you know your your milk comes in and you've just you know had given birth and it's so full-on and such an intense experience and um, so that was the inspiration behind the women's range everything just evolves out of you know experiences you know and I continue to do that I love yoga and I didn't really like the mats that I was using so I'm now developing a new range it's called zone and it's it's eco-friendly cork and rubber yoga mats and, and accessories so you know and it's just really to fulfill kind of you know, a need that I have that I figure a lot of other people have as well. Now that you are well established with Body Ice, you've got Zone coming through as well. Are you still doing that? Are you saying, right, this year we're going to have this kind of distribution, this year we're going to hit these kind of targets. Are you still in that frame? No, I don't think I am in business. I'm um, not as obsessed and not as, um, probably not as driven, to be quite honest, as that lure of an Olympic gold medal and Yeah, I'm not driven by money at all. I'm driven really to help people. It's crazy. It all comes down to wanting to help people recover, overcome their injury, train better, feel better. I've become to realise that's what really drives me. And so sometimes I can get a little bit off focus in business because I've always got ideas. Oh, I should do this and I'm a bit of a squirrel. I don't mind that. (laughs) I don't mind it. I've got a really great team that kind of reel me in and keep me on track. As a mother, I've always prioritised my loved ones and others over myself. However, at times, this selfness has taken a toll on my body, especially as I've dealt with severe arm pain over the years. Now, as I age gracefully, I've made the decision to prioritize myself, and I'm grateful to have discovered body ice recovery. I rely on the arm compression gel sleeve. After a long day, I can come home and apply the sleeve directly to my arm, providing soothing relief and minimizing discomfort. It's a game changer for me. Don't wait any longer to prioritize yourself. 
get your gel sleeve today and take the first step towards prioritizing your own well-being.